Hey guys, this is PMR Bones 88. And last weekend I went to the movies and I saw X-Men The Days of Future Past, which stars Hugh Jackman, Patrick Stewart, Ian McClellan, Halle Berry, Jennifer Lawrence, and many others. And along with the director returning Brian Singer, who finally direct who also directed the first two X-Men and also correct the mistake from X3 and X-Men Origins, which there were different act, different directors. So however, it was actually a, a reunion, like um, sort of a reunion, but seems like almost, meaning the X-Men cast from the 2000s through the X-Men trilogies, and meaning the X-Men the first class. But the first time I saw it, I was astounding. It, it was amazing. These visual effects were magnificent, even the Sentinels were great, and seeing Hugh Jackman being as Wolverine, he was badass as always. So the movie is about um, where Wolverine goes back in time, goes back in the, in the 1970s, tries to help uh, young Professor Charles Xavier and young Matt Nito, trying to at least um, change in the past and stopping the Sentinels before the war starts, and that's where the future takes place. And with the visual effects and the storyline and the casting, they were great too. They were magnificent, including the um, Trask um, that he made the Sentinels. He did good. Um, he did very well. I mean, he is a great actor. I've seen him in different movies, different um, different movies, and he was he was also in um, the TV show uh, Game of Thrones. I would say that it was really it was really great just to bring all the all the cast together to bring one big. Um, big X-Men movie. One of my favorite scenes in this movie was Quicksilver and everyone did like this film including with the visual effects once again and the stop motion. It was like so amazing, so astonishing. I laughed and cried at the same time and seeing him like fighting and like going around in circles, um, doing a little time stopping. It was so great. It was hilarious. It was my most favorite scenes so far out of this whole film. I loved it. Seeing Jennifer Lawrence playing as Mystique, it was, she played outstanding. She did an outstanding job. And her role, she took the, she brought the character to life, took it really serious. And as for the Sentinels, the visual effects, they were great. And seeing the Sentinels look so real and having them bring them back to life and in the future, they made them more realistic, more fighting technique technique and technician and it was really great. I really love how they made those Sentinels. So this was actually the best Marvel movie. The best number one Marvel movie ever. So it beats Captain America the Winter Soldier and The Amazing Spider-Man 2 down to second and third place and X-Men Days of Future Past up to first place. So just to rate this film, I will have to give this a best 10 out of 10 equals 100 Marvel X-Men movie ever. This was actually now my most favorite and to see all the X-Men characters bring them back in and there's also surprising other characters that they are now in and you won't be disappointed. So I'll be looking forward to when it comes on Blu-ray and DVD. And this is PMR Bones 88 signing off and saying this. Peace!